Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to build an iOS launch screen. If you're ready to learn how, let's get started. Here we are in our brand new Xcode project. We'll start off by doing a launch screen with a storyboard. Now, if that's not what you're looking for, don't worry, we'll have a no code solution that's even faster and easier than building a storyboard. Storyboards are just great if you want a more customized solution for your launch screen. All right, let's dive right in. We'll start by creating a new file and we will choose a new launch screen. And we can leave it the default name, that's fine. All right, now this starts off with a little bit of uh, content in here that we actually don't need just yet. But before we get too far into changing any of this content, let's go over to our asset catalog and let's create a new color set and we will call this background color. Now this background color is what we're going to use for our, uh, for our launch screen. And I want just an all black background color. And so we will just choose black for both light mode or dark mode. And then we will add a new image set. And this image will be the one that we want to use for our launch screen. So let's call this launch screen image. Uh, let's just call it launch screen. There we go. And then we only want a single scale for now. And we have a file right here that we could just drag and drop in. There we go. All right. And with that, we are actually ready to go back to our launch screen storyboard. There we go. Now let's expand this stuff to clean off the launch screen that we were given by default. So we can just select those items and hit delete because we don't actually need them. And let's go over to our view and let's set our background color to the one that we created. If we scroll all the way up at the top, we'll see the one that we created. Perfect. And now we will add a image view, which is that is a UI kit component that is very similar to what image is in Swift UI. So if you've ever used image in Swift UI, it's probably just a UI image view under the hood. And for that, we will go over and change our image to our launch screen image. There we go. All right. And now we'll have to add some constraints. So let's, now that we've got our image selected, we will center it horizontally and vertically in the container. There we go. And because we've already got this image to the right size, we don't need to do anything else. Um, and we are good to go. If, for example, we needed to change the size of the image, we could come up here and we could set a specific width and height, or we could pin it to the top, bottom, left, right, etc. If you've ever used storyboards or you're more familiar with that, this is how you would do that kind of stuff. For now, though, this is all we need. So we will come over to our main project and we will scroll down to the launch screen file and choose launch screen storyboard. And then we are ready to run this on our simulator. Now, now you may not have seen the launch screen actually show up and that's because there's currently a bug in this version of Xcode where the launch screen file doesn't stay saved in our project. For example, if we go over to our info P list and then come back, we see the Xcode has erased our launch screen file. So in this specific version of Xcode, which is currently 16.2, uh, that's a bug. So we'll report that to Apple in a later video. But for now, just know that that is how it would work if there wasn't a bug in, in the project. And with that, we're ready to move on to our next step, which is a no code solution, which is even faster and easier than the one we just did. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's go jump back over into our info P list and you see this launch screen key here. So that uh, is what tells our project to use our UI kit launch screen. And so we don't need this anymore. So we'll go ahead and get rid of this because we're going to do a slightly different option. And we will choose to add 
a image name and we will add a background color and we will tell it that we want it to respect the safe area insets. So let's start with that one. Let's come in here and change this to yes. Our background color, we will go back to our assets file and we'll copy the name of our background color. And then going back over here, we will say inside of our background color field that we're gonna use the background color. And then we need our image name. So let's jump back over to our assets and let's copy and paste this just so that we don't accidentally mistype anything. And then we will paste that into here, hit enter, and there we go. All right, so now when we run our project, ah, did you see that for just a split second? It showed our, uh, it showed our launch screen. That's pretty cool. If for example, if for some reason you didn't see that on your screen, whenever you were running this project on your own, it may be because of a caching issue with how the simulator works. So you can go up to the device menu on your simulator and choose erase all content and settings. And what that'll do is that'll reset the device back to factory defaults. And that'll allow you to um, get a fresh clean start with no caching. And then you can come back and rerun your project later. Now, just in case you didn't see that, let's run that one more time and we'll get our uh, X code out of the way so you can see it and see the launch screen. There we go. There's our launch screen. And with that, feel free to like, subscribe, and share. And if you leave a comment, just be nice about it. That's all I ask. Thanks. Have a great day.